Hey guys, Joanne here at Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Rosewool LCD monitor spring arm. I want to go over a couple things before digging into the box. So, let's see. You get aluminum alloy and other strong metals for the stand, so it's very sturdy, lasts a long time. And it is for Visa monitors, which is your standard um, mount for flat panel displays as well as TVs and other displays. And you'll need a table thickness between 20 to 60 millimeters in order to attach the clamp. Here's everything that comes in the box. Over here on this end, we have your user guide. It's pretty useful. It tells you how to put everything together. It's quite straightforward. And here is a little note telling you how to adjust the torque on this spring arm right here. There is a uh, plus, plus and minus sign here. And you take this wrench here, feed it through this area until you reach uh, the hole at the bottom of it. Then you turn it um, counterclockwise to increase the load resistance and clockwise to reduce the load resistance. If you have like, let's say heavier monitors and whatnot, that's how you would adjust. And next to that is the swing arm. And this is the table clamp. To tighten or loosen, just turn this knob on the bottom here, depending on the thickness of your table. And of course, it's between 20 to 60 millimeters once again. And they've even included this pad here for you. So you can go ahead and place that between the table and the clamp so that you don't get any marks on the table. Finally, right here, we have your Visa mount adapter. And next to that is this uh, bag of screws where you'll use to mount this bracket onto the monitor. So, and of course you have this handy wrench here which will help tighten and loosen the swing arm as well as um, other parts of the stand. I have a sample monitor here that I'm going to attach the bracket to. But first, so you get the uh, bracket into this orientation, if that is what you would like. Loosen these two bolts here using this wrench by going counterclockwise. So you can easily, more easily move this piece. Now, um, match up these four points here with the points on the monitor. And you take these four screws oh, and go ahead and screw that into place. So here we are. And you'll want the black rim part of the bracket to be facing downward so it snaps onto the spring arm. Be sure to pad the table clamp before attaching it to the table. We're going to go ahead and place it here. There we go. And tighten the uh, bottom right here. So give me a moment. Just make sure that is tightly attached before putting on the arm, uh, the two arms. So let's see if this is sturdy enough. Not quite. Just a little more, and that should be good. Now first, we will put the swing arm, uh, swing arm on there with this black rim piece facing the bottom. There is a latch here that will click into place once this spring arm is on there. There we go, and this is what it does. Now to tighten the motion of the arms, simply take this wrench here, like I mentioned earlier, and go in a clockwise motion. And that should do it. There we go. A lot more stable this way. Same goes for here. And finally, we're going to place the monitor on the swing arm. So here we go. Give me a second, actually. Ah, there we go. Ha! Ah, there we have it. It is complete. That wraps up our overview on this Rosewool LCD monitor spring arm. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.